Alright. See if I can get it off. It's been dripping bad. Yeah. So you just come back from Florida and we take a shower. I mean, it's going to be too much, so. Maybe I get it off. Remember last time we went and we twisted that right off? Yep. It wouldn't come off. We'll have to try. Let's hopefully I can get it off of here. Last time I had to tap it. Yep. That's what I had to do last time was tap that sucker. If it twists off, we'll have to change the valve. That's it. You know that. Unfortunately, I do. <sighs> Unfortunately. <sighs> Shit. We were lucky last time. Maybe we'll get lucky again. more money. Well, last time I was here we had to change the whole valve because it was twisted right off in the wall, remember? That was a rookie move from that young wannabe plumber. Yeah, he's working the plumber's helper, get his license. Alright, let's see what we got there. Ain't much there, is there? Just a little. The last 30 years. Man, they really squished in there. So I use the same springs I got in there because those are a little bit different. They're long, flat ones, so I'll just put new washes. Corrosion going on in there too. How old is this valve? Well, it's gonna be almost 40 years. 
40 years old. There's a lot, a lot of schmag in there. That's all we can do. Put new gaskets. Them were, them were smoked. Look at that. They're really bad. That's what they call washerless. Mm -hmm. <coughs> this ball seems to be okay. It's just a, there's no stop on this ball. This is an old style ball. Yeah. I don't know guy, you think that's gonna work? Yes. Oh. I'll open this door, this should work now, we've got new gaskets in there and stuff. I should have probably just rebuilt the whole thing when I was when I was in there. Oh, no, no, no. But this one looks like it's got a crack in it. See the, the plastic has got a crack in it. Are these? Yeah, them are my pliers. What yeah. are you doing with them? I'm trying to get this fucking nuts Well, <laughs> Hey, I'm working here. <laughs> See what happens there with this. Should be better now. Definitely a lot tighter than it was. As long as it don't leak, that's what my main concern is, right? It's a little bit too, too hard. I don't want to break the handle either. It's that fucking cat, bitch. This part here. The new, that's the new internal there. I might have to cut that out with a see that plastic? I might have to cut that thing out with a uh, hacksaw to get that plastic out of there. That's too tight in there.
because if not, I can't adjust it properly, you know? We don't want We have to be able to adjust it properly. That bottom don't seem to be fitting in there so well, does it? For some reason. This one's just giving me a hard time, you know? Yep. It's about as easy as you want. And then, uh, we'll see how this works now. It's all corroded in there. Cut it. See if that drips. I hope not. Alright, we'll turn the water back on and we'll see. Is it on? Yeah, go ahead, turn it on. Alright, it ain't leaking out the handle no more. So we just used throw them out in the trash. It's good, it's not dripping. What's up with this toilet man? My gasket wasn't too good. Look at that thing, it's kind of like all mucked up, see? That's from putting them tablets in there. Let's jump. <sighs> yeah, that thing was running, 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 so I put a little fill belt on there. Some were easy enough to change it. That's it right there. Good. Leaks. <laughs> Alright. Alright guys, that retainer, adjustable retainer that goes on the outside, I had to cut it off with a hacksaw. Um, I usually don't have to change these too often. This is what you adjust the, the tension on the packing. Uh, you can see this thing's got a crack in it. This was leaking by when I opened, when I turned it on. It was leaking by, so I changed that. And see what the they call this washerless, but there's washers in there on springs. Now the thing with the Delta is there's three little copper three tubes that hold that whole head in. So when you turn that thing, if you twist them three copper tubes, you have to change the whole valve. That's why when I put it on there, put my wrench on it, and I was tapping on it. 
Uh, you're gonna jar that thing, that cap loose without twisting those three, three, um, three eight copper line. There's three tubes that come out that hold the whole assembly on. It's bad design on the Delta. So I was lucky to be able to get that apart and change those parts for the guy. Um, they had the long springs in there. I left the old springs in there. There's two kinds of springs. There's a short stubby and then there's a long skinny. I left the, the old springs in there. But I had to rebuild the whole valve. Um, luckily I was able to get it apart and fix it for the guy. If not, I would have had to cut it out and put a whole new valve in there. The shower valve, uh, the toilet fill valve, I showed you what that looked like. It looked pretty nasty. So that's it. Just cut that off with a hacksaw and peeled it out and put the new one in there. One is not always easy.